Immigration reform appears to be back on the agenda for the new Congress, opening for business in January. Where does the immigration debate go from here? We get the views of two members of Congress. Kay Bailey Hutchison is a Republican senator from Texas, and Luis Gutierrez is a Democratic congressman from Illinois. Senator, how does your and Senator Kyle's new Achieve proposal differ from the DREAM Act that failed to pass the Senate at the end of 2010? Our proposal gives legality to those young people who come here, um, they've known no other country but America because they were here early, and they're going to get an education, or they're going to get a vocational degree of some kind, or they're going to serve in the military, and they will have a legal status. Where it differs is that unless they decide to pursue citizenship, it is not an automatic. If they do pursue citizenship, which they can under the law as it is today, they would go behind the people who are already in line so that there is a fairness in the system to those who have waited for years to become regularized. Uh, but they will have a preference in that they will be here legally, can work and build up all of their seniority while they are waiting in the line. And Senator, you say the prospects for a bill of this kind have changed, have gotten better since the election? Yeah, I do think that people are now realizing that we've got to have immigration reform. And speaking only for myself, I believe that doing immigration reform in pieces is going to be achievable rather than trying to do comprehensive, which gets bogged down in extraneous issues that make it very hard to come to a total big conclusion. Representative Gutierrez, today the Hispanic Caucus laid out a set of principles it would want to see in any immigration reform bills. Given what you and the caucus members said today, is the senator's achieved proposal at least a place to begin the conversation? You know, it is a step in the right direction. It takes us away from a Republican platform and a candidate for president, Romney, who said we should just have himself deport, that is, pack your bags and leave. Millions of American citizen children uh, have undocumented parents. Uh, thousands of Americans are married to undocumented uh, spouses. Look, it's a destructive force, our broken immigration system. But I don't think that, uh, I think so. In that sense, it's a step in the right direction because what she's saying, the senator is saying, and the proposal is saying is they can stay. It's a realization that they're not simply going to disappear one day and leave the country and that they have a rightful place in the United States of America. What we'd like to say in one of our principles as we've articulated today is we want them to be citizens of the United States and we want them to have a clear path to that. Now, I understand when the senator says that they should be put at the back of the line. I get that part. Look, that's why you have to do comprehensive immigration reform because under comprehensive immigration reform, we say there should be no backlog. There should be no permanent resident. There should be no citizen who has petitioned for their wife or their husband or their minor children or their brothers and sisters. Those people should come and be reunited. And once we take care of that backlog, obviously then we can put these young people. But these young people should have a special place on the line because as the senator says, this is the only country they've ever known. And you know, they swear allegiance. They love this country. It's the only one they know. And in the end, we have said we will give them a pass pathway to stay permanently in the United States if they will serve in the military, the highest tax any citizen of any nation can pay, any individual can pay to a nation is that of their blood and their limb. And if they're willing to do that, we should give them a clear pathway to American citizenship because that's what they really deserve. Well, Senator, just a moment ago, you were talking about doing this in a phased way, piece by piece. It sounds like the Hispanic Caucus is looking for comprehensive reform and Earlier today, Senator Menendez says the community speaks with one voice on this issue. Is comprehensive reform too heavy a lift, do you think, in the next Congress? You know, Ray, I was in on the negotiations which went on for months with Senator Kennedy and Senator McCain and others. We tried very hard to come up with a balanced, comprehensive immigration reform. And what we found is that if you took one set, say you're talking about the DREAM Act or the young people who are here uh, and we want to have them achieve, 
you take that and you are working on that, but then someone who is for you on that, but they don't like what you've done on the side of border control or more DPS uh, agents or more uh, of the border patrol agents. And then you have another set that wants something for ag workers and they won't like something you did in another section. And we found it impossible to come together in a comprehensive way and it fell apart. That's why I think a step-step approach is the one that will be more successful because the more ways that you have to deal with the the solitary issue, and in this case, it's the most time-sensitive issue because it's these young people who uh, have American educations, they've graduated from high school, they want to go to college, they want to be a part of our, our system, they want to be a, co a part of the community. We want them with that education to get there. But if you start then going beyond that, that uh, particular area, you get bogged down and we're not going to be able to help them. I think you could then go to the next phase, which would be uh, border patrol or border security or uh, work visas in other areas like high tech. But I do think a step-by-step -step approach can be successful where I don't think comprehensive is going to be able to be done. Um, especially in this environment, to be honest. Representative, you just heard the senator lay out why time is of the essence. Is time also of the essence in a political sense? Do you have to do this in calendar 13 before the Congress gets caught up in the midterms for 2014? Uh, look, tomorrow, the next session, the next month, the next term, those aren't words. Uh, it's now. Uh, the Latino community spoke clearly and eloquently and forcefully and in a unified fashion across this nation. And I say to my colleagues in the Republican Party, it is time that we listen to the electorate and they spoke very clearly. Look, a couple of things just very quickly. Every day we deport a thousand people, it's 30,000 a month. Let me just make it clear. Tens of thousands of people are gonna be deported this year who have American citizen children. They can't wait for piecemeal. We have a STEM industry that needs workers today. Think about all this talk about uncertainty and uncertainty and how that has an impact, a negative impact on our economy. Let's take the uncertainty away from 12 million people and say, get in line, get right with the law, learn English, pay your taxes, and one day you can be an American citizen. And you know what those 12 million people will do when the uncertainty in their life? They will buy that house, they will buy that car, they will expand the business they're already in, and they will pay more taxes and be right with the law. Our nation cannot continue to have millions of people and we don't know who they are. I want them registered with the country and I want them fulfilling the responsibility that I and the senator fulfill as citizens of this nation. It is their responsibility and we should give them that opportunity. Luis Gutierrez of Illinois, Kay Bailey Hutchison of Texas, thanks to you both. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back shortly with the Daily Download, our look at politics.